so today we're going to run through how to answer some model exam questions on Hess's law and the energetics topic in AES chemistry. So question 1a says define the term standard molar enthalpy of formation. It's a three mark question. It's a relatively straightforward A01 question, just memory, knowledge recall. So we should remember, obviously it's asking for standard molar enthalpy as well, so that gives you a hint. That it is the enthalpy change. when one mole, that's the mole of it, of a compound is formed because it's enthalpy of formation from its constituent elements and then your last mark will be for recognising that they need to be in their standard states. So part B is another definition question, only worth one mark this time and it just says state Hess's law. So. Again, this is just knowledge recall. Hess's law tells us that the enthalpy change for a reaction is the same. Whatever route is taken from reactants to products. There's many different ways that you could word that regardless of the route taken from reactants to products. The enthalpy change for a reaction is independent of the route taken from reactants to products, anything along those lines will get you the marks. So the last question on this one is question C, which talks about propanone and how it burns in oxygen. So obviously if we're looking at burning, reacting it with oxygen, that is an enthalpy change of combustion to create carbon dioxide and water. Then it says use the data given below to calculate the standard enthalpy of combustion, which is the one we've just looked at above this reaction here of propanone. Now the first thing to note is that these values in the table are delta H F. So they are standard enthalpies of formation from the constituent elements to the compound given. So we'll start by trying to construct our Hess's law cycle. So the reaction we're looking at, like we said, is the combustion of propanone. They've given us the balanced equation up here. And we said We've been given standard enthalpies of formation, so we're looking at going from the constituent elements, which in this case are carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So our first one in the table is CO2, which is on this side, and like we said, it's a standard enthalpy of formation. We've just done the definition, it's the enthalpy change when one mole of a compound is formed 
from its constituent elements. So we're going from the constituent elements to the compound. So our arrow should be pointing upwards. Now the value for that is minus 394. But obviously we have to recognise that we've got 3 moles. And this is the enthalpy change for standard molar enthalpy of formation. So only for 1 mole. So we need to multiply that number by 3 and if you put that into your calculator you will get minus 1182. So next value is for water again standard enthalpy of formation so going up from hydrogen and oxygen to water that is minus 286 but obviously again we've got 3 moles of that so we're going to multiply that by 3, put that into our calculator, we get minus 858. And then the last value we've been given is for the formation of propanone, which is minus 248. And obviously here we've only got one mole, so that just stays as it is. Now, Hess's law tells us that the nth will be changed for this reaction delta HC is the same as going from the reactants down to the constituent elements and back up to the products. So if we call this delta H1 and this delta H2, it tells us that delta HC equals delta H1 plus delta H2. Now, the bit where people maybe stumble is looking at what way your arrows are going and getting your signs correct. So in delta H1, we are going against the arrow, so we need to take that away. So it's minus, minus 248. We should know that two minuses are going to make a plus, so that's just going to be 248. Now delta H2 we're going with the arrows, so they just, we add those, or they stay as they are, so add minus 858 and add minus 1182. Again, when you put it into your calculator, just be really careful, making sure you're getting your signs correct. But if you put that all into your calculator, you should get minus 17. Nine two, and then obviously if we look here we can see that our unit is kilojoules I've just done it wrong, per mole and that answer would get you all three marks